Only the brave will win. <laughs> That's me! A new case to solve? my cup of hot water. A new case to solve? on the road ahead. <laughs> Piece of cake! Warning. Dangerous buildings above right the road ahead. Them. You okay? 
say? Uh, not at all. My hair is full of steam. <laughs> That's what you get for being so slow. There are more and more ether crystals around. Ether concentration levels are up too. Be careful, everyone. There's a huge building over there. Probably an oil refinery, right? Big Daddy told me this place used to be incredible. Whoa, that was close. Watch where you're going! Are you okay? Dang, that was quite an impact. Is your bang boo all right? I'm fine. What about the others? I don't know. Lucy and Lighter are missing. It's just you and me. When the boulder fell, the ground gave way and collapsed, forming a massive hole. And when I woke up, we were here. Master, due to the spatial distortion caused by the severe tremors, you have deviated from the planned route. Recalculating your position. Additionally, before the rockfall, a significant release of energy was detected coming from both sides of the road. Please proceed with caution. A significant release of energy? An explosion? There were old oil facilities on that path. Did the explosion come from there? <laughs> <sighs> What's this? When we fell in here, I got covered in this glittery dust. Dust? Now that you mention it, Eos is covered in it too. Hmm? Wait, isn't this stuff the ether powder left behind after a pure ether explosive goes off? Belle, what did you just say? But the Outer Ring doesn't have advanced ether technology. And the city wouldn't sell such dangerous tech to the Outer Ring. So how did it get here? That can only mean one thing. The explosion was no accident. What? Who did this? Couldn't be... the Vanquishers, could it? But when we were at the starting line, Pompey told me to give him my all and give him a proper challenge. He seemed eager to compete. How could he stoop so low? Caesar. Although we can't jump to conclusions, with an incident as serious as this, there's no way today's race can continue as planned. The drone should have gotten it all on camera. Bernice is watching the race. We have to tell her the truth and get her to call it off. Understood, second assistant. Connecting you now. Oh, hey, Proxy, it's you. What are you calling me for? Everything looks to be going smoothly in the Hollow, and we haven't encountered any battles so far. Huh? Bernice, didn't you see what just happened? What? Did something happen? 
Bell, something's wrong. Ferry says the footage being broadcast has been tampered with. It's not just ours. Even the footage of the Overlord is fake. The footage from both sides has been swapped out. I don't think this is just about stopping us from winning the Tour d'Inferno. Yeah. Their actions suggest they aren't worried about getting exposed later. And there's ether explosives appearing where they shouldn't be in the outer ring. Could they be targeting Cinder Lake? Are you saying Cinder Lake might be in danger? Yes. I think Bell's guess makes sense. Caesar, you're the leader of the Sons of Caledon and our client. So what's the plan? We can try to get out of the Hollow right now and tell everyone about what happened. Oh. You're stating the obvious, Proxy. We're heading to Cinder Lake. We can't just sit back and watch. As long as we can protect Cinder Lake, we'll figure the rest out. Understood, Caesar. Faven will respect and follow your decision. Uh, wait. What are you all talking about? It sounds like something crazy happened, but it doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Bernice. I'll explain everything to you later. Bell, Caesar, you two should get going. You've got to regroup with Lighter and Lucy. Let's go, Proxy. We don't have much time. Bio segments detected in the area ahead. Ugh, there's no end to these things! I was Lucy's voice. Let's hurry! Don't worry, we're fine. But the collapse just now was not normal. Seems like it was caused by ether explosives. That's the conclusion we came to, too. Looks like someone is trying to harm Cinder Lake. We have to get there fast. Wait! If you're going to Cinder Lake, you need a bike! Note. I've already detected the coordinates of three motorbikes. <laughs> That's great news! Proxy? Take us there now! detected nearby. Let's go take a look. It's Morse! That's weird. Why isn't he with the Overlord and the others? Boss, that guy just now was holding a pair of binoculars. He seemed to be looking at something at the foot of the mountain. It's where the explosion happened. Morse, what's your status? 
Have you seen the sons of Caledon? Where have they gone to? Reporting in, boss. I've been monitoring their route as instructed. But I still haven't seen any sign of them yet. Still haven't seen them. Those young'uns know how to handle themselves. Now that they're facing some real trouble, they can't take it. <coughs> uh, boss? You okay? <laughs> Morris, of course the Overlord is fine. Didn't you see him cut down those ethereals just now with a single slash? Lucius, enough trying to suck up to me. After all these years with me, you still haven't gotten over those bad habits of yours. Turning tail and running at the first sign of danger, and underestimating your enemies when victory's within reach. As a biker and second in command of the Vanquishers, you aren't fit to lead with that attitude. Boss, I get what you're saying. I've always been slow to learn. If it wasn't for you, I would never have even seen the shadow of Cinder Lake. Enough. In the past, you would have fled at the mention of the Tour d'Inferno, but now you've insisted on coming along. That counts as progress. Moors, keep an eye on the Sons of Caledon. We aren't far from Cinder Lake. Not good. The Vanquishers are way ahead of us. But by the sounds of it, Pompey knew nothing about the explosion. Is it just me, or does something feel off about that Moors guy? The explosion at the foot of the mountain just now caused a huge landslide. You can see the rising smoke and dust from here, even without binoculars. Proxy, you're onto something. Seeing something like that would usually cause alarm. Even if Moors was sent to spy on us, it's still weird that he didn't even mention this to the Overlord. Hey, Caesar, pipe down! Huh? Who's there? Out of the way! Morris, time to surrender. <laughs> Not gonna happen! Not even close! There's nowhere to run. This isn't good. He's trying to get away! Morse, you coward! Boss, he escaped through the fissure. Morris must have had something to do with the explosion back there. I got a bad feeling about this. Now's not the time for this. Focus on dealing with the ethereals in front of us. We're just getting started. The Sons of Caledon talked a big game about having a showdown, but this has been disappointingly dull. Boss, you might have a soft spot for that Caesar, but it's their own fault for being so useless. <laughs> but dull can be a good thing. At least we won't have to worry about Cinder Lake for a few years. What's with all these ether crystals coming out of nowhere? The ether aggregation catalyst can accelerate the crystallization of free-floating ether particles. This is tech developed by City Enterprises to increase ether production, and it works wonders in the unique environment of Cinder Lake. Lucius, do you mean you... That's right, Pompey. I've replaced your spark stone. Cinder Lake will be completely extinguished soon. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot to mention. When using this catalyst, the nearby ether concentration will skyrocket. Especially for those with a weak aptitude for ether, it will have serious consequences. <laughs> Lucius, how dare you! Get away with this! How dare you give me another scar! You monster! Despite being so corrupted, you still have this much strength! To think I ever had such high hopes for you! I was blind! Do you understand the impact of colluding with the city's ether companies? What it'll do to this place? <laughs> 
Did you really think we all shared your old-fashioned ideals of freedom and morality, boss? The weak and the worthless have no place in this age. With the power of ether, I will establish a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control! What is it? Boss, we found the Sons of Caladon. They're about to reach Cinder Lake. What? All those explosives didn't take them out? We have to retreat for now. Seeing Cinder Lake snuffed out would have been a 90, but now it's down to a 60. Sorry, boss. Time to say goodbye. At least you'll be out of your misery. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just remembered. Weren't you disappointed you couldn't face the Sons of Caledon in a final showdown? Warning. A significant increase in ether concentration near Cinderglow Lake has been detected. What? What's going on? There aren't any cameras near Cinder Lake, so we can't be sure. But it's definitely not a good sign. Damn! Does that mean we're too late? No matter what, Lucy. We have to get there as fast as we can. Proxy, where are our bikes? The Fisher took them to a place not too far away. Come with me. Barry, how is the situation at Cinder Lake looking? Rising ether concentration levels detected. I have also detected that Cinder Lake's heat signature is shrinking. I knew it! Cinder Lake is in trouble. We're almost there! Our rides are up ahead! One step further! The brave fear nothing. There's no way to run. Here I come. Let me at him. This is all Lucius is doing! 
He's the one conspiring with the Eagle Corporation to extinguish Cinder Lake! That's right. So long as the oil runs out, he can do whatever he pleases. Warning. Rising ether activity detected. What? Ugh. <sighs> 
few minutes, it'll be completely extinguished. How ironic. Even with the Sparkstone, it's too far away. There's nothing we can do. Without oil, what does Lucius plan to do with the old oil field? Unless... a miracle happens. Huh? I'll get the Sparkstone there. Uh, what? Wait... no. Caesar, you can't be... Well, everything's packed. We're ready to head back home. Proxy! Good thing you haven't left. I almost missed seeing you off. Caesar, I told you. Shouldn't have rushed over here. With everything that's happened at the old oil field, you need to be there to keep things under wraps. I told you I'm just the acting overlord. That day, even though Pompey threw in the sparkstone that was replaced by Lucius, he was the first one to reach the finish line. The Overlord title should be his. Caesar, speaking of Lucius, any news on his whereabouts? Nothing yet. We haven't found his man Moores either. <laughs> that no good snake. We sent Bernice and Piper to cut him off, but he got away. Looking through the stuff he left behind, we found evidence that he was colluding with an Aether Corporation in the city. Combined with Eos's recordings that day, the old oil field bikers are well aware of what he did. Proxy, I didn't get to thank you after leaving the hollow. We saved Cinder Lake thanks to you. Couldn't have done it without you, Caesar. When Cinder Lake was about to go out, I almost gave up hope. All I could do was watch as you rode away, getting further and further from us. Hey, don't get emotional on me. I was saved by the fissure hidden under the vent. Isn't it crazy how that went down? A friend who's an expert on this said that due to the complex air currents around the fissure, ether particles are unable to stabilize, preventing it from being sealed off. 
Due to the balance between the natural gas and the ether particles, the fissure won't be moving anywhere. It's probably been there for decades. Diving into the fiery sea, the hero returns valiantly. When the first overlord reached the lake, maybe that's where he jumped in too. <laughs> Who'd have thought the legend of the first overlord was true? Well, this was an unexpected discovery. People back then didn't know about the fisher, and the first overlord probably forgot what happened to him. So that's where the divine intervention part of the legend came from. True, but isn't the existence of a fisher right in the middle of Cinder Lake already pretty divine intervention-y? Do you remember what happened after you fell into the fisher? Parts of it, but it's hazy. I thought I was done for in the darkness. I thought I would lose consciousness pretty quickly. But I could feel every part of the overwhelming pressure as I passed through the fissure. Then, I saw a light in the darkness and instinctively pulled back on the throttle and sped towards it. Next thing, I came out right on top of you all. It was unbelievable. After you said, we meet again, the next thing out of your mouth was, Lucy, if I die, the sons of Caledon are yours. She's always had her eye on taking over as the leader of the Sons of Caledon. And in that moment, I suddenly realized that I'd never made that clear before. I thought she'd be relieved, but that lunatic jumped up, shouted, I don't want your leftovers, and straight up slapped me in the face. It's your fault for saying that. Lucy was still crying when we left the Hollow. Yeah. Lucy was really scared I would die. But now everything's fine. Both me and Cinder Lake. Since you're heading back to the city, let me give you something as a memento. Oh, it's a sunflint. Yeah, <laughs> all of the sons of Caledon chipped in. It's a shame I didn't have time to help with the weaving. I just drew the design in the middle. Take good care of it. You're always welcome in the Outer Ring, Proxy. May you rise from the ashes.
I can't see Caesar and the others in the rearview mirror anymore. That must mean we've almost left the outer ring. Mr. Wise, leave looking around to me and keep your eyes on the road. But it was nice of Caesar and the gang to escort us all the way to the edge of the outer ring. It feels like Cinder Lake was just about to go out. And now we're driving home listening to music. It seems almost like a dream. What's wrong, Wise? You sound a little emotional. Although we could only prove the fissure in Cinder Lake exists from its effects, apart from Caesar's bold gamble, there really was no other way to save it. But seeing Caesar fall, that helpless feeling, I never thought I'd go through it again. Just like that time. Wise. Belle, you really have to admit we're family in moments like this. You must be thinking the same thing. This is the edge of the city. Eos and Fairy are here too. It's time. You have deviated from your course. Recalculating a new route home. Don't worry, Fairy. We're going the right way. The road we're taking now is the real way home. We're here. Let's go up. Come on, Eos. Don't forget your scarf. It feels like we haven't been back in a long time, Belle. Where this is search complete this is the center of the chasm at the edge of new eridu the chasm which preceded new eridu was the product of the large uncontrolled hollow disaster in eridu often called the fall of the old capital to deal with the out of control hollow zero during the fall of the old capital eridu's leaders at the time detonated the 14 shuryu pillars from the southwest to the northeast the power of the explosion sparked a strong geological chain reaction, bringing about the formation of the chasm. That's right. There's nothing in the chasm that can be corrupted, so Hollow Zero can't convert more etheric energy to expand, which prevents it from getting out of control. New Eridu could only be built because of it. Without it, if you keep driving from here, you'll end up on the road to the northern side of Eridu, which is really close to the throne quarter. Within 10 minutes, you'll come upon a massive statue. That belongs to the White Star Institute. Turning left before the statue takes you to the former main road number 7 of the Minerva Quarter. On the left side of the road were all the old civilization antique shops that Wise liked to go to. He was just a kid back then, and always fell for fake antiques. And on the right side of the road were all the dessert shops and snack stores that Belle loved. I couldn't resist Belle's whining and ended up buying more treats than she could ever finish. I couldn't finish them? As soon as any snacks were placed on the table, everyone would grab them up within a minute. Or have you forgotten? How could I forget? So, at the end of main road number 7, after you pass two, no, three security gates, you'll see a beautiful building. Our teacher is right there. She'll be at the entrance with Eos waiting for us. She always liked to stand to the right of the building's plaque. The Helios Academy. That's our real home. It's there now as well, just across the chasm, deep inside Hollow Zero, under the rubble of the old capital's ruins. Teacher, we're back. It's been a while this time, and a lot's happened. Database of victims from the fall of the 
Angels Capital. Only one matching result was found in the related information. Resulted in the uncontrollable Hollow Zero, leading to the great tragedy of the fall of the city. The main culprit, Senior Research Director Carol Arna of the Helios Academy, along with others involved, will forever be etched on the pillar of shame. Speculation. The name provided earlier was incorrect, or the matching information belongs to another person with the same name. No, it's no mistake. The person officially responsible for the fall of the old capital is Carol Arna. She was our teacher. She taught us, raised us. The HDD system and EOS are among her many achievements. She also saved us when the old capital fell. Very. Didn't you ask us why we wanted to investigate Hollow Zero? This is our reason. We became proxies so we could collect enough observation data to one day head back to where Helios Academy once stood, deep in Hollow Zero. We're confident that if there are clues anywhere, it's got to be there. Belle and I are prepared to swear on our lives that our teacher isn't the one responsible. We have to uncover the truth about the fall of the old capital and clear our teacher's name. She's innocent, because... Warning, an unknown entity has been detected nearby. Huh? Now? Who would come here? <laughs> You're... the head of Section 6, Hoshimi Miyabi. That's correct. And you're the leaders of the independent investigation team with the exceptional guide, Rainbow. I did not anticipate being bested by you. We're honored you remember us. But being bested by us, what do you mean? I am training to be the first to reach the Chasm Memorial. I would like to spend some more time with her, alone. So you're here to pay your respects to the deceased, too? Yes. My mother. My condolences. I hope you can find peace soon. Thank you. But I don't intend to find peace. Hmm? You don't want to find peace? Indeed. I shall not seek peace until all those responsible for the fall of the old capital are apprehended. Catch them all. None will escape me.
are the freshest in the morning. Come, have a bowl of noodles. Hmm. Well, seems like my noodles were just what you needed.